Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a really fun one for me. I'm gonna be reviewing the new I Love Sarahi and Dose of Colors collaboration. I ordered this before I left for New Jersey and I received it um, while I was gone. Unfortunately, the eyeshadow palette came in shattered and I was so devastated. It's just my luck, it literally happens all the time with new stuff that I ordered. Um, but fortunately, they sent me a new palette and they kind of like overnighted it. So I got here fast. I know that there's so many different reviews and so many different looks that have came out with this palette, but I figured I haven't done one on my channel, so why not just go ahead and give you guys my opinion on this palette. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I ordered almost, I think I ordered, I think I ordered almost all the, all the stuff that was in the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collaboration. My least favorite thing that I would say, and I know it's funny that I'm even mentioning this because I brought it to in my New York bag that if you guys saw in my Get Ready With Me, I brought their little eyeshadow palette that came with four shadows. I personally found that palette to be a little bit difficult to work with just because you had to wet the shadows, but not with like Fix Plus, like you literally had to dip your finger in water and then go into the shadow or vice versa. And I found it just a little bit tricky, not as pigmented as I wanted. The colors and the concept was beautiful, but I don't know why I just couldn't get it to work the exact way that I wanted it to work. So I am a little bit nervous when it comes to this collection, but we will see how it goes. I know that I used her highlighter in the last Get Ready With Me, but I'm gonna use it here again. So let's get done rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my last two videos that I put up, especially the vlog to Jersey. I know that basically it was just a bunch of bullshit really in a video, but I promised you guys that I would vlog or at least attempt to vlog. So that is what I did. And I just put up whatever footage I have. So you either love me or you hate me, but that's who I am. Anyway, so let's just jump straight into the video. If you guys are new here, thank you so much much for watching if you are not new here thank you so much for sticking around and let's just jump right in to the review okay so before we jump into the review let me show you guys first what I picked up okay, so as far as her collection goes I'm gonna start off with the lips first I picked up all three lips I think the only two that I am missing is aesthetic aesthetic I think is how you say it and fresca um, which I'm really actually tempted to buy fresca I'm not really so into the other one the other ones are very like rusty orangey kind of brown I feel like I have a lot of colors like that I mean I honestly have a lot of colors like fresa too is it fresa or fresca I don't know but that red is just so like strawberry to me so it's like calling my name so anyways I picked up the nudes because like what girl doesn't have enough nudes I picked up the color nude chica peachy and the lip gloss barely there I wasn't so into her other lip gloss called like brillo I think it is just because I feel like that's really similar to the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie over the top gloss, as well as the Makeup Shayla. She has a gloss like that too, but this right here is barely there. It's such a pretty nude matte gloss. It's so pretty. This on top of Peachy and Nude Chica are so pretty. So my favorite lip of the three that I picked up is definitely Peachy, which is what I think I'm going to put on today. It looks as so. It's just like such a peachy gorgeous nude like I'm so much more into like orangey peach nudes versus like pink nudes just because I am a little bit more tan I just feel like pink nudes don't look as pretty on me I know some of you might think I'm crazy but I just prefer more of like an orangey peach undertone versus a pink undertone so this one right here is nude chica as you can see this is basically the same as barely there but just in a matte formula. Dose of Colors has some of the best liquid lipsticks, if not the best liquid lipstick formula. For me, Dose of Colors and ColourPop are probably the top two in liquid lipsticks or just lipsticks in general. Um, both of them have great, great formulas. Like if I was to ever collab with any companies, it would totally be both of those companies because they just provide such great quality and formula and just everything all around is just so good. Next thing I picked up was this highlighter in Soul Mate. So if you guys saw my Get Ready With Me, I actually put this on in that video. It was my first time trying it. And in the pan, it looks very like peachy champagne -y kind of gold but on the skin it's super frosty honestly i'm not gonna lie to you guys when i used it in that video it just wasn't my favorite 
Um, not the formula. I just felt like on the skin, it goes on a little too frosty for my skin tone. I feel like on somebody who is lighter than me, like it goes on my finger really gold. But when I put it on my skin, it just turned very icy. And I just wasn't really in love with it. Um, it looked great. Like the end result of the entire look looked amazing. It's just not my number one highlight. Um, not because of the formula, not because anything is wrong with it. It's just really frosty on my skin tone. And what's crazy is I was so tempted in buying the other one, Bathe. But she says that one's like a pink, pink. <laughs> she says that one's like a pink champagne kind of color. So it makes me even more nervous to try that one just because it is more pink. And I tend to go more gold. Um, this honestly is a gorgeous highlight. I just feel like for me, it is a little bit too light. And then lastly, the last thing I picked up is her eyeshadow palette. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was kind of sad because I know some of you guys might think I'm crazy. I was kind of sad that the first one came in broken, but then I was kind of excited because I was like, hey, a lot of companies typically let you keep the broken one and they just end up sending you a new one. The only one that came in broken was this one right here, which I think is called Padma. And um, I was so disappointed when I messaged them. They actually asked for the broken one back. And I know it might sound stupid, but it's like, what are you guys going to do with the broken one? You can't sell it, so what are you going to do with it? I guess I guess you can pop out like buy mine and then resell it if you put a new one in. But I was just a little bit disappointed because most companies just let you keep it and they just go ahead and send you a new one. I know it sounds so dumb, but I was just kind of excited for that. So I think for today's look, I am going to do a look that she created. Um, I think it was a halo eye with... This one in the outer corner and the inner corner with then Baidma in the center with these two into the crease. And I think she highlighted with this one. This one right here is so intriguing to me because as you guys can tell on camera, it looks so glittery. And it is pretty glittery too when you dip your hand in it. But then apparently when you apply it to the eye, it's just like a basic black, which I'm like really intrigued. But like it doesn't look basic at all. It's so weird. It totally has like a whole bunch of di different glitter flecks in it. But then when you blend it out, it kind of does turn into like a really basic matte black. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, prime my eyelids, not set them, and do my eyebrows off camera. And I'll be right back to jump into that eyeshadow palette and create the look for you guys. Okay, so I went ahead and I filled in my eyebrows just a little bit. And I prime my eyelids using the ColourPop concealer. Now to jump into the palette. I honestly love that this palette has a mirror. It just makes my life so much easier. But I'm going to jump in first to, I believe this is called Wonderlust. Loungy, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go in first to the color Loungy, which is such a pretty like peachy kind of pink color. And I'm gonna be taking a Sigma E25, my favorite blending brush. I'm gonna go in kind of heavy with Loungy. And we're gonna begin to buff this into the crease. And I did not set my eyelids because I just feel like the colors come out so much better when you don't set them. So typically I go into my crease with really like warm orangey kind of browns. So for me to go into this, my crease with like a peachy, 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 peachy kind of pink is a little bit different for me, but I'm living for it. Honestly, guys, I feel like the trend of setting your eyelids has just gone away because literally to not set them, the colors look so much better. I am dying to try that um, eyeshadow base called by P. Louise. I just heard so many good things about it and I'm dying to get my hands on that. Oh dude, I don't even know if the camera is like truly picking up this color, but this is such a nice color and it blends out so easily and so nicely. I believe I'm gonna be going into the color Wonderlust and I'm gonna take this a little bit lower in the crease but dragging it all the way inward as well. This color is such a pretty like burnt sienna color as well. I honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I doubted these colors. Like only having two transition colors, I honestly really doubted it. But these colors are so freaking pretty. And I'm not only saying this because I love Karen, but dude, these colors are really nice. Okay, so I'm actually going to go into that matte black or this weird looking black. I think it's called Finder's Keepers. So foiled and so metallic, it scares me. But apparently she said if you mix these two together, the Finder's Keepers and Badma, that it makes like a really pretty emerald green, which is kind of the goal that I'm going for today. 
So we're gonna start, oh my God. So it like legit goes on like a matte black. That is so weird. So weird. It's kind of like, what's the point of having the glitter in it then? It doesn't make sense to me. I'm so confused. Okay, so I tap my brush in it and you can so see the glitter, but then when you tap it off, it's like the only thing you see falling off are, is the glitter. It's so weird. Okay, and I'm gonna brush off the excess that's on the brush on like a towel. And then I'm just gonna go in and just lightly buff it out in circular motions. Not really moving it inwards or outwards, just kind of staying exactly where I placed it, but just doing circular motions. And it will kind of just blend itself out in to the crease. I'm gonna go in now with a smaller pencil brush and pick up a little bit more of that Finders Keeper Black and just place that a little bit more into that inner corner, just a little higher. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go back in a little bit more with that Sienna, the Wonderlust, and just buff out my crease with the black, just kind of blending those colors in and dragging it into the center. Okay, so, so far, I think it's turning out really nice. I know you guys might not be able to picture it like I do, but so far, so good. Now I'm gonna take my Olimar Cosmetics Flat Shading Brush. I freaking love this brush because it's so little. And I'm gonna go into a little bit more of that ColourPop Concealer just to kind of help me carve out that halo eye. Okay, it is not perfect, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna be going in with this gorgeous blue right here. I'm kind of tempted into going into this color, but I feel like that makes it like every other look that I do with like warm golds and stuff like that. So I want to go into this blue color called Padma. Seems like such a gorgeous blue. It honestly kind of reminds me of the one from Alamar Cosmetics. See how it does with a brush. Okay, it's pretty with a brush, but I've seen a lot of people use their finger instead. Oh yeah, just like melt onto your finger. So I'm going to go in with my finger and then finish off with the brush. Okay, so this is like one thing that I don't really like about Dose of Colors is that a lot of their shadows, especially like the Desi and Katie collaboration one, you had to use your fingers in order to get like a true pigmentation. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of using my fingers for makeup. I guess because I have long nails that it kind of like prohibits me to like really get into the crevices of using my fingers and like making everything really precise. And right now that's just like what I'm into is having everything really sharp and really cut. Um, so it kind of frustrates me when brands have that. Like I think Huda Beauty is the same way. Like you need to use your fingers in order for the shadow to really get its full potential. And I'm just more of a fan of just using Fix Plus and like wetting my brush instead. I don't know, like, am I crazy? I can't be the only one that just doesn't like using their fingers, right? Okay, so now that I've placed that blue down, um, I just still feel like it could have been better without using my finger, but it's okay, I'm just gonna get over it and move on. I'm gonna go back into Finder's Keeper and just kind of blend that on top of the blue. And now I'm gonna go back into Wonderlust and kind of just buff out all those edges between all the colors so everything blends out and seems very seamless. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish off the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished off the other eye. Before we move on to the face or before I finish off my face, I wanted to do the under eye with you guys and highlight my brow bones as well as apply a small liner. So far, I honestly really like this look. It's a little bit messier than what I am used to, but so far, I still really like it. So to highlight, I wanna go into the color Poquito Mas. I wanna go into the color Poquito Mas as a highlighter. It's this really pretty white champagne-y um, kind of color. And I'm gonna use this to highlight the brow bone as well as the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into that Sigma E40 and because I drugged down that highlight a little bit too low, I'm gonna go back and blend that color loungy back in to where we highlighted just so everything really seems to blend in well. I'm gonna take a little bit of Poquito Mas and place that in to my inner corner. I definitely expected this color in the inner corner to have a little bit more of a pop but it seems like a little bit softer of a champagne highlight color. Maybe that's why it's called Poquito Mas, so that you can go in and apply a little bit more as needed. 
Okay, so that basically completes the upper eye of the look. I'm gonna go in to this liner by The Bomb. It's called the Swing, Shwing, Shwing liner. And I used this the other day and I absolutely love this liner. And I'm gonna do just a very thin line across the upper lash lines so that when we do apply lashes, the lashes blend in to the shadow very well. Okay, so underneath our lower lash line, I believe I'm gonna go into the color First Wonderless, which is that darker burnt sienna color. And I'm going to be using that same pencil brush that we applied the black with. I'm just going to clean it off on a towel and pick up a heavy amount of that Wonderlust. And we're going to drag this completely underneath our lower lash line. But I'm not going to go up into this inner corner. I'm kind of just going to go straight out. That way it doesn't give me such a rounded look. This also is a really good strategy when you have under eye bags and you want to cover them up, which is why I love doing um under eyeshadow i just feel like one it brings a look together and then two it's a good way of hiding all your imperfections okay now with that same pencil brush i'm going to pick up the color loungy which is that really pretty peachy pink and i'm going to go a little bit below wonderlust okay, and now to really deepen up the look i am going to take a flat definer brush if i can find it and I'm going to pick up the black in this palette, Finders Keeper. And I'm going to tight line about halfway in. Okay, so we drug it about halfway in. Now I'm going to go in with Wonderlust again. And just really buff out those edges. Not dragging it too far in. We just want to make that black look a little bit more smoky underneath. Okay, so that basically completes the eye look. I am going to go ahead, finish off the rest of my face, apply some lashes, and then I'll be right back to try on the lips for you guys, as well as tell you guys my thoughts on this entire collection, as well as show you guys the highlighter because we cannot forget the highlight. I'll be right back in about one second for you guys, but in about 30 for me. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I finished off my face, applied some false lashes, and I'm actually really enjoying this look. It is so pretty. Um, so I figured let's just go ahead and move on into the highlights before I speak about my thoughts on the entire collection. So I'm going to jump into the I Love Serahi highlight in Soulmate. It's just really pretty, like gold, champagne, kind of peach highlight. So I tested this highlight out in my get ready with me and then I used it yesterday I believe but instead of going in with this small brush which is a Morphe M510 I'm going to try I'm going to go into this crown brush it's a 501 it's a bigger highlighting brush because I feel like this highlight is so frosty I want to go in with a bigger highlight to make it more natural looking on my skin and then if I need a little bit more on like the very tops of my cheekbone I will go in with a smaller more precise blending brush so I don't know if you guys saw my get ready with me airport video but when I applied that with the smaller more precise um, blending brush I felt as though it was way too white and way too frosty on my skin tone, which is why I'm going in with a bigger brush. I just feel like it makes it look a little bit softer, not so um, intense and streaky looking, a little bit more realistic. I mean, I guess as realistic as a highlight can truly be because it's not a natural look at all. I just feel like on my skin tone, it's a little bit too much and I can show you guys what I mean. So right now it looks really nice and I probably would just stop right here. Um, let me just take, I'll probably go back in with my blush brush a little bit. So right here is like ideal, perfect. I really like the way that this looks. Um, it's really soft, but still feminine and pretty. But now I'm going to go into more of an intense brush. And it's going to literally go from 0 to 100 real quick. So I'm going to apply this just right here. I don't even know if you guys can really tell on camera. Like how much more intense and wet that is. Do you see this side? Compared to like this side, it's more softer flush of highlight. Whereas this is like boom, like streak on your face. It's really pretty and some people might actually really want this kind of look, but I feel like for me, this is a little too much and too intense. So I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and just kind of push that into my skin. Okay, so that is the highlight. It is still really pretty and I honestly am probably still gonna use it because I do like it, but I totally love it more with this blending brush than I do with the more precise one. I just feel like if you're a little bit lighter in skin tone, it might look great on you. And you guys will probably think it looks great on me. I just feel like it's a little too much for my liking. But honestly, I've kind of gotten out of that like super intense highlighted look. I kind of like more of a soft, 
glowy all over kind of look versus like a boom line on my face both of these lip options you can totally do it with like a light pink kind of nude a real neutral kind of nude but i personally personally like going in with all my nudes using this mac cork i know i use this in almost all my videos but honestly it's an holy grail and it's an item that i always use no matter what i'm gonna first start off with nude chica because i want to finish off the look with peachy i did a very light wash of cork because it is such a darker brown now i'm gonna go in to nude chica and honestly i love this packaging so much like the sleek matte it reminds me of kim, kim k's packaging okay so that is nude chica you can totally go into it a little bit more um opaque i guess you can say with the color but i didn't want it to be so opaque i wanted it to be like a light wash which is why i went so light with the lip liner and then light with that okay so now i'm going to top it off with barely there i love this combo together so that is nude chica with barely there on top Okay, so I lined that a little bit more intensely than I did the other one. And now I'm going to go into Peachy. See how pretty that color is? It's so pretty. Okay, and that is Peachy. So I don't think I'm going to put Barely There on top because I honestly just like this matte Peachy kind of nude lip. I went into Peachy a lot more opaque than I did Nude Chica just because I really wanted that peach to shine through. Okay, so that completes the look. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys like this look. I honestly am obsessed with the way this looks. This Banma um, all over the lid is so glittery and so intense. I love the foiledness. So my thoughts on... I'm going to start off with the lips first. My thoughts on the lips. I honestly have no complaints. I love these nudes. I love this gloss. It is such a comfortable but not sticky. It just gives you that wet pout. And these nudes are the perfect shade of nudes for any skin tone. I am just obsessed with peachy because it gives me a little bit of that warm undertone that nude chica doesn't. But as far as the formula goes, it's like not sticky at all. It is so comfortable. Dose of Colors, if you, if you guys have been with me since like day one, you guys know Dose of Colors is like my dream company to collab with. I am just obsessed with everything they put out. Everything they put out is so good, especially their liquid lipstick formula. It is the most comfortable liquid lipstick known in the industry at least to me it is it just doesn't crumble you can touch up as much as you want it doesn't start to give you butthole lips it is just such a good formula as far as this highlight goes you guys know the deal i love this highlight i love this formula i love the color of it i just feel like it's a little bit prettier on somebody who's a little bit more fair than me or even if you are my skin tone but like those really frosty wet looking highlights i honestly love the way they look on camera like right now it looks really pretty but in person it can just be a little bit too intense sometimes and too drag looking which is why i like to go in with more of a fluffier brush whenever you have formulas like this that are just really foiled and frosty onto the star of the collection it's definitely this eyeshadow palette these six shades right here are to die for like literally i have no complaints this one right here is so intriguing because it does have glitter on it, but when applied to the lid, it goes on like a matte black, but it still has like a reflex to it. It is so pretty. Don't let it scare you either, because I bet you if you were to put this all over the lid, it would be absolutely gorgeous. Um, so don't let it scare you, because it did scare me. Like, look how much glitter it has in it, but it doesn't show up that glittery on the lid. So don't let it scare you. I also have it blended underneath, so... It's just basically a, a, a glorified matte black. These two matte shades right here are absolutely, absolutely my favorite out of this palette. And I'm going to be reaching for this palette. Like this has quickly become one of my holy grails because of these two mattes right here. They are amazing, especially this one right here. This one's like, you know, like your typical pretty burnt sienna. But this one is gorgeous, like gorgeous. Um, I didn't really get to test out this bronzy shade, but this one is also really pretty. I like that it goes on kind of soft and like a soft wash, but it's buildable, which is funny because the name's Poquito Mas, which is exactly what it means, just a little bit more. This one right here, it honestly isn't my favorite to apply shadows with my fingers, but for that color, it is a gorgeous color, and I will do that for that color. I just wish that you could just wet your brush instead to make it work, but I understand that the body heat of your body just helps the color really just melt onto the skin so i get it but guys those are my thoughts on this collection i think the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous i love this flat 
pink shade or nude shade it's so gorgeous i love the concept i love that she did it different with these like palms i just feel like it's perfect for the summertime so let me know what you guys think about this review let me know if you guys are gonna go pick it up i definitely think this collection is worth it it's a little bit more on the pricey side but it's 110 percent worth it because dose of colors is always worth it honestly in my book they're just such an amazing brand i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys had fun watching me create this look today i know that so many people have created similar looks to this but it's me, so it's different, right? Um, anyways, let me know what you guys want to see next. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the videos on the side so that you guys...